Hello everyone and welcome back to another Santiago de Chile video. If you happen to be new around here, I am Trevor and this is Anna. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to follow along in our adventures. Today we are going to be trying Chilean food. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about it, but we're gonna find out. Typically we try to do some big and small dishes, but I think today we're gonna concentrate on more street food style. to one of the main food markets in the city seems like a great place to start there are loads of people here I talked before about us not being that familiar with Chilean food but we thought we'd start with something that we are a bit familiar with an empanada we've had them in other countries they are very popular in Latin America so we thought we'd try a Chilean version I think we came to the right place because the lineup is completely out the door here hopefully this doesn't take too long all right guys we got two empanadas this one, I believe, is queso. Hopefully the other one's meat, so I'd prefer not to chomp into that, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. It's super flaky and super hot. Like, we just walked for five minutes and it's still really, really hot in my hands. It's really big as well. Mm -hmm. We probably could have shared one. Definitely good. It's quite simple. There's not a whole ton of flavors going on, so it's very, very flaky and crusty from like the phyllo pastry. And then there is some cheese in there, but it's not like stringy cheese or anything. I don't even know if I've really reached it, but it's just kind of like a salty flavor to it. So yeah, I wouldn't say there's like massive amounts of flavor, but it's a good little snack or big snack, I guess. <laughs> I like it. I don't love it. It's a lot different, I'd say, than other empanadas we've had. I decided to get something entirely different. This is an empanada de pino. Um, basically, I think it's minced meat, and there's some olives in here as well. It's actually super hot. Mmm. Oh. This is so good. I'm going to have to try yours now. This is great. This reminds me, I'm going to say turkey dinner, but that just means it's very hearty and comfort food in an empanada form. This is delicious. I know Anna doesn't eat meat, but I think she should try this one because it might be the winner. The crust on this is like perfectly burnt. And the meat in the middle is super tender. It's minced. There's onions in there as well. Cooked to perfection. I have to say, empanadas in Chile are pretty good. We're very surprised how many restaurants are in here. We expected more stalls and vendors, but as we walk around, I know the camera mix is a target. People are constantly trying to get us to come into the restaurants and it's a little overwhelming. Look how beautiful the inside is though. This looks to me like it used to be a train station or anything and there's all these carvings up on the wall and these really cool old rustic looking beams. I have to say this is one of the cooler looking buildings for a market that I've ever been into. <laughs> Alright guys, all the savory food has certainly worked up the sweet tooth. It's time for some sugar. Uh, to be honest, we spent about two hours looking for the uh, two dishes. No luck until now. Um, we read all these blog posts and they're like, you can find this stuff anywhere and that is not so. But we found the cookie we were looking for, I guess we think we did. It's called El Fajores. El Fajores. Pro probably saying that incorrectly, but I think that's right. Anyway, we found it at this place and it didn't call it that, but we asked and they said this is the right cookie. What I saw did not have chocolate on it, so maybe that's the difference. So yeah, you guys in the comments can let us know if this is not the actual real thing. It was called something else, like mm. Anna said, but she did tell us that this is it. This mm. is the Chilean cookie that we should try. It's really good. It's almost like a shortbread cookie, like kind of dry, a little bit sweet, and then in the middle is dulce de leche. Which I don't know entirely what that is, but it's a lot like a caramel. So it's like very, very creamy. And then you've got chocolate on the top, which is a great addition. I'm definitely enjoying this. Yeah, and the inside of this looks amazing. It's gooey yumminess. Yeah. All right, I am going to dive into this, guy. This looks delish. Oh, that inside caramelly um, section is much more creamier than I thought. I expected it to be kind of like chewy. It's not. It just melts in your mouth. It's good with the chocolate. Good with those wafers, you're right about the shortbread. Um, 
There's, it's not very sugary, I don't find, but it is a very pleasant little snack. I bet you it will be really good with a coffee or maybe a latte frio. We've been kind of hooked on those down here, but this is a good little treat. I get why the Chilean people are into this guy, because I'm into this guy so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. I just said we spent two hours looking for two dishes. Well, we literally just walked out of the cookie shop and ran into the stand that we were looking for. <laughs> yeah, here's the stand back here. And uh, these people were so nice. They helped us through everything. There's no uh, Spanish and there's no English. It made for a very fun interaction, but this yeah. looks interesting. It's super interesting. I can't wait to try it. This interesting drink is called, hold on, because I can't pronounce it and it's a long word in Spanish. Mot con Josuea? I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize in advance, but basically it is peach nectar. There's a, a whole dried peach in there and there's um, husked wheat on the bottom. You're not supposed to, I don't think you're just supposed to drink it. It comes with a spoon. And uh, before I go and mix it all up, I'm just gonna take a bit of the juice on the top. Incredibly refreshing and very peachy. But now I'm gonna move up uh, some of this stuff at the bottom. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that. Whoa. Oh, weird. Sorry, I've, I've had nothing like that before. You have really, really sweet peach juice. It's like that really chewy pieces of wheat. Yeah, I mean, it absorbs all that sugary goodness, but it's not what I expected at all. It's good though, I think it can grow on me. Let's see what Anna thinks of this one. It looks really weird. It I'm does. actually kind of nervous to try it, but I'm gonna get some of that wheat in there. Right? <laughs> it's really strange. <laughs> yeah, it's something we're certainly not used to. I'm trying to describe the wheat. It's almost like mm -hmm. barley or something like that. It has yeah. a really strong flavor when you chew it. Ah, so it's a weird, weird, weird contrast. So it's almost like, almost like a corn flavoring or like, like I said, strong barley taste to it. And then you have the sweet nectar. It's really bizarre and I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> Next up is something we never would have expected to be eating here in Santiago, but loads of people on Instagram messaged us and said we have to try this. And believe it or not, it's a hot dog. <laughs> what? I don't even understand hot dogs. And here's the best part. This place over here is called Hogs. How fitting is that? So this lovely little thing is called a completo. We got one called uh, Italiano, or Italiana I think it is, uh, because it has um, avocado, tomato, and mayonnaise on it, which creates the colors of the Italian flag. We also put some hot sauce on there. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be good. It does look delicious. And it looks like it's gonna be messy. Definitely <laughs> messy. Look at this, guys. Wow, like, I've never looked at, or had such an intimidating looking uh, hot dog. Mmm. 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 Oh. We don't ever use the word delightful, but this is delightful. So first of all, I wondered why um, Chileans are such a big fan of mayo. Like there's so much mayo on this hot dog as you can probably tell. And I was kind of like, well that's just gonna overpower other, every other taste, but it doesn't. The meat is really good. Cooked to perfection. This is um, pavo turkey. So it's, it's kind of nice and refreshing to have like a turkey hot dog. Um, there's also, uh, avocado on here. I almost called it guacamole, but I know I'm not supposed to do that down here, so I won't. But it is avocado. There's also tomatoes. Anna put on um, some hot sauce as well and just makes for this delicious um, hot dog overall. It's really good. It's so good. Guys, how crazy does this look? I don't even I don't even know how to attempt to eat it, to be honest. You, you kind of just got to go for it. Yeah, I know oh. I'm not going to get it all in one bite. And hope for the best. <laughs> So I mainly only got hot dog in that bite and a little bit of avocado, but definitely delicious. It's got a nice smoky flavor. I don't think Trevor mentioned the bread is nice and like crispy on the outside, but then really um, soft on the inside. So it's perfect with that hot dog. <laughs> it's so messy. It's so messy. 
is almost too big for me because I either have to eat the toppings or eat the hot dog. I don't, not both at the same time, which is too bad, but it's really good. It's a good combo. I wish I could get it all in one big bite. So uh, we didn't expect to get a hot dog here and it was very, very good. Maybe the best hot dog we ever had. And we actually came over to this park that was right next door to the place where we were at. It's pretty beautiful here, I have to say. It is, it's gorgeous. And we have one more thing on our Ooh. list. It's actually something we had recently when we were in Peru. And I thought it was just a Peruvian thing, but it's also <laughs> a Chilean thing. It's a Pisco Sour, so we're gonna see if we can find one. All right, guys, we found our Bar. We probably picked the fanciest place we possibly could, but we did for a reason. The view here is absolutely incredible. You can see the mountains, the city. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's here at a hotel in the city. Um, I went for my Pisco Sour, as I said I was going to. How pretty is it? It looks delish. I'm gonna try it. And they did give me an option of Chilean or Peruvian uh, Pisco. What do you think I got? Obviously, Oh, you Chilean. got Peruvian, didn't you? No. <laughs> Mmm. Whoa. That's sour. Really good though. I love the little frothy stuff on the top. I honestly couldn't tell you what the difference is between the Peruvian and the Chilean. If anybody knows if there is actually a taste difference, let us know. But to me it tastes pretty similar. It's really good. I don't think we said what's in this. So basically there is pisco, uh, some lemon, there's egg white on the top, and there's also some simple syrup to round that out and make it a little bit sweet. There's some bitters on the top as well. It looks absolutely delightful. Mmm. Very sour. Very punchy and pungent. Like I, I, the more I try sour drinks, the more I like them. Um, like Anna said, when, when we were in Peru, I'll make sure to link it, we um, got into these Pisco Sours and we became a big fan. Um, they're just as good here. I can't say one's better than the other. All I know is this drink's really growing on me um, and I enjoy it. Quite a bit. So I have to say we had a really busy day and it's very nice to be chilling up here now. Um, I can't talk enough about the view. It's amazing. We're about nine floors up. Like Anna said before, there are mountains everywhere. Um, I'm going to put a clip on the screen. You might be able to see the tallest building in South America. And behind that, there are some snow-capped mountains. It's the camera um, isn't it doing it justice, but it just looks gorgeous up here. What a day. Uh, Honestly, did not expect to eat the kind of food that we found. Mm -hmm. you know, we've done our research when we came here, um, but we're, <laughs> we're still shocked that uh, like hot dogs and peach juice were on the list. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have a favorite? That hot dog, I think. It was really messy, but yeah. delicious. Yeah, my favorite was definitely the empanada, the um, minced beef or a pino, I think uh, in, in Spano, mm -hmm. as was called. That was um, delicious. But yeah, very unexpected about us, specifically that peach drink and the cook cookie. Mm -hmm. It was hard to find. Hard to find, yeah. We didn't show you guys the challenge part of our day. It was definitely more challenging than most vlogs. We almost gave up, but it worked yeah. out in the end. It did, yeah. Now, so if you haven't watched our last um, uh, video yet, make sure to go check it out. We were exploring some neighborhoods kind of here in the center of the city. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun. And in the next video, we are finally going to go on a wine tour. Right, I totally forgot about that. I'm so excited to finally do uh, a wine tour here. Oh, we can't wait. It's going to yeah. be good. I just, we love Chilean wine anyway. And just to go do a tour, epic. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it. From Santiago, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.